A momentous and glorious moment. Axiom 4 has been successfully launched into space. But what has unfolded at 12.01 pm Indian Standard Time on the 25th of June 2025 is far from ordinary. And it may have just opened a new chapter in human space flight. Four astronauts, our very own Shubhanshu Shukla, Poland's Slavos Uznaski Wisniewski, Hungary's Tibor Kapu, and Peggy Whitson from the United States of America from suiting up at the Kennedy Space Station to gliding into microgravity. This wasn't just a mission, this was proof. And this is Front Page. Finally, there is an Indian in space after 41 years. A moment of pride, not just for a nation, but for all of humanity. Let's take a moment. Yeah. Namaskar, my name is Pyaar Desh Vasiyo. What a ride! After 40 years, we have reached back to Santrish and it was a great ride. At this time, we are going to the speed of 47 km per second. And on my head, my friend and my friend is telling me that I am not. I am with you. This is my international space station. This is my international space station. This is my international space station. ये भारत के ह्यूमन स्पेस प्रोग्राम की शुरुआत है और मैं चाहता हूं कि आप सभी देशवासी इस यात्रा का हिस्सा बने आपका भी सीना गर्व से चौड़ा होना चाहिए आप भी उतना ही एक्साइटमेंट दिखाइए आइए हम सब मिलकर भारत के ह्यूमन स्पेस प्रोग्राम की जर्नी की शुरुआत करें धन्यवाद जय हिंद जय भारत दैट्स द वॉइस ऑफ इंडियन एयर फोर्सेज शुभांशु शुक्ला हिज नेम शुभांशु इट सेल्फ मीन्स अ रे ऑफ ऑस्पिशियस लाइट now aboard the dragon capsule named grace a decorated pilot with thousands of hours in the sky now orbiting earth for india it's a moment that's been decades in the making for humanity it's the signal that space is no longer a government monopoly it's open it's global and it's commercial a scientific payload like never before inside grace isn't just a crew, it's cargo, critical, experimental and unprecedented. Here is what India is experimenting with this mission. We are talking about a cyanobacteria and an algae to build food and life support systems in space. Muscle cell research to understand degeneration in microgravity and find cures for earth-based diseases. Europe and Poland, on the other hand, are looking at experimenting with a brain-computer interface to decode brain signals mid-orbit. Israel is testing fluid dynamics, music and motion to model planetary behaviours around Saturn. Very interesting. United States of America, on the other hand, is experimenting with cancer stem cells being tested with a drug which has not yet been approved on Earth. These are only a few experiments that we have mentioned. In total, there are over 60 experiments representing 31 nations, from NASA to ISRO, Axiom to SpaceX and everything in between. This isn't, you know, just a test. This is a transformation from the ISS to the future AX4 where it's docked. The crew is working. But what's happening next is even more important. Because this mission is the blueprint for something much, much bigger. NASA will retire the International Space Station. Axiom Space is building the replacement. The first private space station. And every mission, like AX4, is a rehearsal for that future. India's moment, and for India, AX4 is historic, but it's also just step one. Next, Gaganyaan. Yes, you heard that right. India's first human space flight mission, scheduled for not too far away, December 2025. A homegrown capsule, Indian rockets, Indian astronauts. And what is that one lesson that India will learn from AX4? India is ready. Not to follow, but to lead. 
Yes, you heard that right. Why this matters? Because space is no longer just about rockets. It's about science, diplomacy, collaboration, and most important, survival. The cancer therapies of tomorrow may come from these missions. The life support systems for Mars, they're all floating 400 kilometers above Earth right now as we speak. The students watching this today could be the scientists launching from India tomorrow. And we really want to cover that. So what happens now? AX4's 14-day mission is underway. Here's what's next. Onboard experiments begin from the life sciences to fluid physics. Mid-mission updates which will include potential live video check-ins. Data returns to labs across the world, including ISRO, NASA, UCSD and ESA. Every hour counts, every sample matters because the next generation of medicine, food, propulsion and human survival may be inside that capsule. A mission called GRACE, a future fueled by joy. This capsule wasn't just named, it was actually chosen, GRACE, to reflect elegance, humility and collaboration. And what has followed is a zero-G indicator named joy. Because science should be serious, but never ever soulless. And space exploration should serve all, not just the few. This is Front Page by AIM TV. We bring you with pride the tech behind the breakthroughs, the signals behind the static, and the systems that will shape our tomorrows. So if you believe the space age belongs to everyone, then this is your story too. Be proud of it, embrace it. Let us know what experiment excited you the most and how this development makes you feel. Until then, like, share and subscribe. And always remember, think AI, think space, think AIM.